Flashback. Interesting. Back to her being crafty and having to run away from the um the military. I'm impressed. Better Thanks. than you, woman. Well, come on. Up we go. That so, reflection from the window down that? there. Wow. The Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that firefly you bit in Solo's gun? Oh, right, yeah, we well, can't switch anything, so we've got nothing now. I saw him no point down the street, so now. It's a flashback. Ass. I follow him into this alley, and all these fireflies ambush me. That's unfortunate. They took me right to their hideout. To Marlene. We Were you scared? Terrified. I've been shit myself. She's only a kid as well. I she would actually shoot me. But instead, she just says, what took you so long? Wow. That sounds she like Marlene, to be fair. And she just made you a firefly? Something like Cover that? Bitch. That whole almost killing me thing was a test. She wanted to know I was committed. Oh. Um. You love these med kits in many games. Just one bandage and that's it. Like yeah, switching between the past and now. It's like. I mean, I suppose that was sort of like an story because everything that, like typical in games is like, just it's med kit is usually just a bit like, obvious white box with a red cross on it, isn't it? But or something more like go the other way where it's a syringe as well, but. I think it would have be even been interesting to see one step further as well, where literally it's like um, survival, other survival games, like multiplayer ones like Daisy, where you literally, you have to use rags if you have to. But yeah, let's literally, you can, on this, yeah, use what you can get. Marlene. Speak of the devil. She asks about you. Mm -hmm. Really? She says you remind her of your mom. Oh. Well, she'd know more than me. Why weren't we? Oh, we were with Marley to start with. I was going to say, why were we um, by ourselves? Yeah, why is Ellie in military camp but and not with Marlene when Marlene was the one that introduced us to. Uh, well, just Ellie to Joel, is what I mean. Come on. That's one thing I, I'm not actually quite sure about with the game, right? We're making good time. This bit is, is she sort of in with both, and then she we were a bit unsure of her, so then Ellie killed her at some point, but it's she got in with them, but they know, Marley knows of her through being Ellie's friend, maybe. Who do you hang out with these days? I don't know. No one really. Bit of a loner at this what point. What about Tino and the rest of the guys? How are they doing? Riley, those are your friends. But you talk to them. But yeah, you've abandoned your friends for Marley. That is dangerous. That skateboard. You're just thinking about like some Looney Tunes moment. She cut flame and slip on that. Feet out. Flopped on the hole. Rip rest of the game. Main game doesn't happen. She just died from falling on a skateboard. Somebody should really tidy that up. And put some railings around the hole. There's never railings on games. There was a big deathly fall of doom. Never a single barrier, never a single handrail, nothing. Granted, that one's a hole in the floor. Because the building's knackered. Have you found the found light yet? Light? Oh, har har. har, oh, har. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend your people. So what? I love the little interactions in this game. Did you buy into this whole thing now? All I know is that I'm not a soldier. No, you're a flaming little skivvy is what you are. You're a messenger. Thirty days, my ass. Days. People are getting infected all the time. They just do a good job of hiding it. You've run into more infected? Of course. As part of my initiation, they actually made me kill this. You know, let's talk about something else. Right. Better made her kill something like, I don't know, something her age and infected her age. Or she fell, or she just jumping over something else. One thing that always gets me though with every single 
post-apocalyptic game is how come all the buildings are always knackered and there's always grass and plants growing on everything that there wouldn't normally be plants growing on like that's because of an apocalypse why is there suddenly grass growing up the walls and on top of buildings i know i sort of trying to make everything look unkept but grass wouldn't start just growing to that extent on buildings i mean I sort of get explosions like that because it's sort of like um, military of trying to t like take it out by dropping airstrikes on things. I I get some damage to some extent, but internal damage. I, 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 everything. I mean, it's not a shot at this game itself. Just every everything post-apocalyptic. Every TV series franchise, everything is just. All the buildings are always knackered and they've always got shrubbery growing on places where they wouldn't normally be. Uh, oh shit, hi. Hide. Yeah, turn your light off, Ellie. Whoa. It's only a couple of jeeps. I'm sure a couple of jeeps aren't going to notice too, like it's small children on the top of a roof. Maybe he's a grown bloke as a sniper, patrolling slowly, hey, but... So maybe I should Whoa. Fireflies. Calm down, oh. controls. That was the first thing I asked my lady. She wants you safe at that stupid school. I'm not even supposed to... Well, that explains it, then. Why does she care? She's worried I'll get you into trouble. That explains it, yeah. The promise Whatever. to her mother to keep her safe, so she's, trouble, um... She's my own. Maybe she's, <laughs> she owes oh, it to her mother. If she's... He's... Well, mom's done something to her, or for her even, where she owes her a favour. She's got some sort of unreason noted in game, but respect for her. So she's keeping her word no matter what, but and obviously until the main game. Yeah, I mean, what? Well, this game, 20 years could change a bit of all blends. I mean, I can't I see what I mean. 20 years, fair enough. Is, um... A, a long time, really. And I can see the explosion damage, like, that, that you could see that, um, like, skyscraper out there tipped over. That, that makes you just think there's been some sort of military involvement. You know, there's been an airstrike or some way of, to try and just eradicate this infection as much as possible or like kill a lord of them whatever just a panic move from some big wig up top stuff it will put an airstrike on there and that's damage the buildings or some sort of battle in between say tanks you see all the knackered tanks military involvement but all the plants i mean most people like a lot of buildings now are more than 20 years old and they don't have grass grown all over them they don't have shrubbery grown all over them I mean, um, my house that I'm in now is probably over 20 years old. My grandma's house has got to be over 20 years old. They've lived in that. They, in fact, they've got to have lived in it for more than 20 years. Well, in fact, they'll have definitely lived in it for more than 20 years. They've probably lived in it for about, I don't know, 40 plus years. And that's not all grassy. Remember the first time I brought you here? What are we doing here, Riley? But as I far as end game works. What? Is it a dinosaur? Maybe. Oh yeah, I just found a dinosaur, yeah. It's a dinosaur. He'll just have to wait. I'll be your friend again if it's a dinosaur. Yeah. That's what it is. She's got a T-Rex in her backpack. Fucking Ellie man. Is it a dinosaur? Of all the questions to ever be asked. See, going this way. Interaction. You still saving up for that vacation? Uh, Every Kauai, Hawaii. You? Every penny. Actually. Hey, what if we end up picking? Uh, hello, surfing in LA? Pretty cool, surfing. Right. Surfing in LA. Surfing USA. Come on, let's keep going. Affordable. Actually, 899 from US to Hawaii isn't bad, is it? Surely.
you know, but have you seen that video actually of Chernobyl? Of um, that the, the set a drone through. Since then, I mean, you know, Chernobyl has obviously a big influence for the likes of um, Daisy and all of that shenanigans, like all those survival games, like post-apocalyptic. Um, in fact, isn't there uh, some horror games set? Well, there's obviously sh not horror game, horror film. There's obviously the, the Chernobyl Diaries. And there's there's another one set in Chernobyl. I know some places you still can't go to for radiation, I think. But parts of you can, because they did an episode of Tokyo near there as well, and they did um, a few things. But there's a video where they, um, there's some soundtrack over it that's similar to sort of like the Last of Us style music. But they sent a drone through, and you kind of see all like the knackered um, swing sets and the, the, the buildings and. You can sort of see it in a way because like, obviously in game there's all the spores and stuff that cause that to grow. But then all the damage to Chernobyl was obviously because of the initial explosion. So maybe that's that's why the dampness and stuff would cause some sort of fungal growth like moss and stuff. So but I'm, I'm not sure about massive bushes and stuff and trees they grow on the roofs. Either way, it's, it's a nice... Like, Questionable or not, it's a nice visual effect. It's uh, so like immersive. I do, I do like the whole visuals of that sort of style, post apocalyptic theme. Because Daisy is as average as it is now, like with the development being sort of up and down and up and down. That is the game that started me off streaming. That is the game that sort of really got me into Twitch. And that game in its day was so on point. Not so much now, but obviously games move on, there's the alternatives and other things, but... And what hasn't done any favours is the amount, there's been too far too many, like, survival games, open world, post apocalyptic survival games, it's just... I think it's become, like, a bit beyond a meta really, it's like, beyond a, a trend, it's just like, they've burned themselves out by being so many of them available. Which is a shame because they are really good. But in its day when it was RP and not just a PvP mess, it was so good. But I don't think in terms of that theme of game, post apocalyptic games, they're never going to die out. There's always going to be that interest to them. Gone. You heard? Yeah. Do you know how it happened? Let's listen to what she's got to say first, then we'll loot. They said he just... Fell off his horse. Heart attack or something. Wow. Man. Well, how many people get to die of natural causes in this True. world? None that I know of. Exactly. So, let's see what he left us. Nice. Really? Well, this game, for example, is one of the games that will keep the theme of post-apocalyptic survival games alive and working because it's took that unique aspect. It's not just a open world multiplayer survival where you've got to make of it what you can get it is a campaign game and it's got unique aspects like what other game do you get to see the game like the world through a child's eyes a 14 year old just experiencing for the first time someone who's completely got no grasp of what the world was like beforehand they've got no past experience there just they've got that nice juxtaposition of like a hardened survival person who's had to like deal with these hardships through the, the current state of affairs but you've also been the naive side of it of being just amused and just amazed by everything like everything's new to them everything like everything passed before this outbreak seems longer ago than it actually was seeing it like and then the other side of it as well, I've seen Joel, through Joel's eyes of, um, you will see his, through his eyes of somebody who has experienced before, they've seen a child's eyes of somebody who's experienced new, it's that just contrast, it's so on point on this game. 
But maybe that's just breaking it down too much. I don't know. Maybe he's just being a big nerd, but I don't know. Is this Winston? <laughs> <laughs> Man, guy used to be handsome. Bingo. Want some? What is it? Quan. Sure. Watch out, that's not beer. Please. Oh. What a waste. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, here. It's disgusting. Oh. What is it? Cheers, Winston. I mean, if it's wine. <laughs> Fair enough, I can't say spit that out because wine's just pissy That's grapes. Right. Come on. I'm not a wine person at all. Oh, there's so much to interact with here. Wow. What happened to Princess? I assumed after Winston died, they took her. Oh, Her horse. Princess. She's probably out there. That'll be the horse that she's ridden before, you know, man. We got colors. I thought, no, oh, Shinobu would be pretty interesting to see. I mean, obviously, it's um, a really a mess, isn't it? But. The drone footage that I've sent through recently, yeah. Uh, Panda. We saw that in the main game as, as well. Um, Ellie, help me lift this. Sort of like The Last of Us meets Panda. The Last of Us meets Kung Fu Panda. I'll help you in my own time. Come on, we don't have a lot of time. We don't, why, why have you stopped and been messing around with photographs and all sorts of shenanigans? I don't have a lot of time yet. I've got all the time in the world. Oh, it always feels like we're gonna get crushed. It's fine. I'll go first. Well, that's you know made a lot of noise. <laughs> How about we find another way? Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds oh, good. It's not really a suggestion, it's a must read, isn't it? I'm honest. There we go, let's lean back a little bit, I'm not so hunched. Do me back a mischief. Um booster over there, let's go. Hey Riley. You know what? I'll get you up and over. See if you can unlock it for Wow, that's a change of pace. Ellie's doing the boosting this time. That is uh, like Shows you character growth though from now. She's the one doing the boosting while the other one has to go off and take Hello? the risk. You see anything? Whereas with Joel, it's had to be the other way on because she's the smaller one. <laughs> she's just gonna make herself I was gonna say. She's a good jump scare. I love Halloween shots. I, got the perfect mask I like Halloween better than Christmas because I'm, I'm Riley, one perfect. of those types. Oh, can I have this? Check it out. What is that, like a wolf man or something? Put it on. Oh, because, yeah. She wouldn't have really been taught what Halloween is properly. <laughs> yeah, bad ass. Now for are. Roar. Come oh, on, you can do better really? than that. Fucking roar. Roar! Oh, the clickers. Clickers for days. There she is. Now let's see what else this place has. Can you imagine if we had been able to keep this mask for the main game and just run at some of the guys? The hunters with this mask on. I'd be like, what the shit says? Skeletier a question and shake for your fortune. Okay. Oh, that's one of those. Are Eight ball. Question answers, isn't it? With the um, with the skull Nothing. instead. What a jip! You gotta turn it over, genius. You turd. Oh. Seems dreadfully unlikely. Ah. Woo, we're really. That's okay then. Can we do? It? How many times can we do this? Am I ever gonna get to play a video game? Now what's a video game? 
Your chances are dismal. Fuck you. <laughs> Will I drive a car again? Yes. I feel it in my bones. All right. <laughs> Are we ever leaving this stupid quarantine zone? Yes. The answer is in limbo. Does it, oh, actually, this point so it is in limbo. There's a chance. Will we ever get our water guns back? No. The spirit nods yes. Oh. Ah, you hear that? It says we're getting our water guns back. Let them go, Ellie. Let them go. As if that's what I've got to worry about. Water guns. I love that aspect. Just seeing innocent eyes and things ex like this. There's a zombie outbreak. And she's... Yeah, exactly. Two kids enjoy some time in a toy shop. And that's what she's worried about. Am I going to get my water guns back? In a zombie outbreak. Riley ever stop sucking at poker? I can hear you, you know. Poker. The signs 14. aren't clear. Up. Oh, there's still hope for you. No. Nope. I've given up on that. You can have poker. I've streamed some poker before. There's a For those who play PS4, Prominence Poker is a fun free to play poker game. That actually doesn't use real money as well. Free to play, you play with in game earnable chips am i ever getting boobs or what <laughs> the worries of a 14 year old lass the spirits are quiet Ugh, of course they are well she has played by ellen page to be fair it like she's quite a small built actress isn't she are you a butt face are you a butt face <laughs> I am dead certain it is true. Well, that settles it then. <laughs> That's brilliant. Can I take one? I want one. In fact, I want one IRL. Because the closest thing I've got... Let me see this. ...is a skull. Will Ellie ever be as funny as me? Oh, please. I'm like ten times funnier than you. These little interactions just make the game. There's... Not in this... Existence. They make the camera so much more relatable. Hey, wasn't me. Skelethier said it. Well, Skelethier can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Ellie. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, that's awesome. They've got the character like, development perfect on this game. Perfect. Ah, oh, Triple Phoenix. The wolf was more badass, but I just want to interact with everything possible. What do you think? Uh, adorable. Why, thank you, kind pigeon. Pigeon. Can I have that one back? Yeah. The wolf's more badass. But yeah, I mean, it's... Obviously, everybody loves a badass protagonist in a game where they're just... The characters are just un unarguable badass. Like, for example, Halo. Chief is a badass. I loved Halo 1 through 3. Four was average, five I didn't bother with because it's Xbox exclusive and I haven't got current Xbox, but games like this where they set it aside and have um Ooh. Ooh. They set it aside though and have like little just set aside moments from main quest, main campaign, just have the characters being people like this, just being kids being kids. Um, nah, I still like the wolf. I still like the wolf. It's it's so good for character growth. Like, even the main game, playing as Joel and experiencing her as being a petulant child, having no time for her at all, to, like, actually sort of thinking, hang on, well, we've got a bit of time for her, to, this kid's useful. It, yes, we've, we've we've grown a bond with it. We need to keep her alive. Such a growth from start to finish. I executed that like perfectly. 
Plus, the sound tracks as well add to that. I mean, I think if the game had been silent throughout, I mightn't have been quite as immersive. But even in the background now, like, listen. It's not just like, hang on, it's just blandly, ominously quiet. But maybe that's just me, I don't know. Being a nerd and overthinking things. People bought this stuff? Yeah, it's a Halloween shop. I don't get it. She wouldn't do though. That's that's what I was the point I was making before. Uh, 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 what? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, punch her on the. <laughs> wow, that was stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, no. Even Ellie doesn't fall for that one. Sorry. Oh yes, we got to keep the mask. Can I have I a pumpkin? An yes, it's pumpkin, but I like I like the word pumpkin. She had this um, what? Why about I had this like pumpkin something chocolate? It was so nice. It was not expensive either. It was really nice. I might try and find some again. See those I thought I had there? a brick already. Yeah, red one's yours. I'll be blue. We throw bricks. Whoever breaks all the windows to their car, wins. Are you kidding me? I'm like the brick master. <laughs> all right. I've only got one Loser brick. has to answer a question. No sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, asking Ellie for no sarcasm. Turn? All right, fool. You're on. Yes! All I need right. another brick. Oh, bollocks. Oh dear. Boom! Bingo! Damn. I need another brick. Ah. Yeah! Fuck her off. Brick. Top of the top of the top. Yes! Rick fucking master! My Get wrecked, Wiley. Um, Rare. Oh, because... That's probably because the game's just not as common as the main game, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's under a separate category of achievement. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not bothered about trophies anyway. Yeah, you get nothing for them. Loser? Question time. I'm scared. 